Hey, what's up everybody? This is Steven with another PFL Tuts video tutorial. So today we are going to be going through the basic settings that I change in Photoshop um, and then the layout, I guess, before I actually start working. So uh, to start off, I'm just going to uh, reset everything in my Photoshop. And you can see it's going to ask me to delete the settings file. And I did that by holding down Command, Option, Shift, and then clicking the icon. So I delete that. And it's going to start everything from like the factory default. So let's give that a second to load up. Um, Alright, so you can see uh, right away it's in a window. And I don't like it in a window. <clears throat> so the first step that I do is go to Window here. And uncheck Application Frame. So then I bring my tools over to the right side here. And then I get rid of swatches, adjustments, because I don't really need that. And then I bring my layer panel all the way down to the bottom. Actually probably going to make it a little bit wider. And then we don't actually need these either, so we can get rid of these as well. Because most of the time I'm usually going to be working with the toolbar and the layer panel. So something like that. So we'll start off over here in the layers. I'm going to check this, uh, click on the top right over here, and go to panel app options. And inside of here, I change this to medium. And then instead of, actually let me make a new document so you can see the changes that are happening. So in the center here, I'm just going to draw out a quick square. Okay. All right, so let me change these settings. I'm going to go up in the top right, go to, um, what is it, panel options. And then I'm going to change the size of the thumbnails to medium. And then over here, I'm going to check layer bounds. And what that's going to do is instead of having all this transparent area around the the item in the layer, it's going to show just a layer. And then I also do um, expand new effects, uncheck that, and then uncheck add copy to copy the layers and groups. Click OK, and you can see that cleans up that little setting, that little area there. All right, so now let's do uh, some more um, performance changes, which is going to be in our preferences. So for a Mac, I come over to Photoshop, and then preferences in general. For a PC, it's probably going to be an edit, and you're probably going to have some preference settings in here. So I'm going to open this up, go to General, and right in here, I'm going to change this in image interpolation over to um, Bicubic Sharper. And I'm going to do this because most of the time when I resize an image, it's going to get smaller uh, rather than trying to make it a larger one. So for that, I choose this right here, which has a smoother finish. And then she's going to go through here, um, resize the image during place, that's fine, animate, zoom, um, zoom resize window, going to uncheck that, zoom with scroll wheel, wheel going to check that, um, let's see, and that's probably good, let's go to interface, and then that's all fine, the color is alright, um, then we'll go down to sync, doesn't matter, this doesn't matter. Performance, we're going to change this. We're going to go to cache level. We're going to change this to 1. And then here you want to make sure you're using at least 70% of your RAM, which that's probably fine. And then advanced settings and use uh, OpenGL and all that. Uh, you can probably get away with normal, but I just keep it on advanced. doesn't matter too much. Unless I'm having some performance issues, then I'll go ahead and I'll change this. Um, history states, I'll probably turn that up to maybe about 25 or so. Cursor, um, we're going to do uh, crosshair in the brush tip, which is going to add a little X in between so you can kind of see where you're going. And then grid size, all that, that's fine. Units, I'm going to change my ruler to pixels because I like to work in pixels. Same with the type to pixels as well. Um, most of my work is on the web, so I keep it on pixels and also my screen resolution to 72. Uh, if you're going to be doing a lot of print, you might want to change this into inches or picas. And then let's see. Mm, file handling over here. We want to change this to image previews to never save. That's going to help with performance as well. Um, okay, so that's going to finish off those settings on there. Click OK. And then let's see. Another thing that I like to do is go over to view. And then show smart guides. Click that. And what that's going to do is 
uh, bring up these uh, purple line or these pinkish purple lines, the lines which help you line up all the items in your uh, in your layers. So that's going to complete it for uh, the settings that I changed. There might be a couple more to uh, mess with, but it all depends on your workflow. For me, this works out perfectly. Um, that's all going to depend on what you're working on. So maybe you want to start off with this and then just change it slightly to work better around your needs. So if you have any questions or if you have any tips, leave it in the comments below. And remember to subscribe. It helps out a lot and shows us some support. Thanks for watching and see you next time.